Hey everybody, it's Dave here from Mogdog, and welcome to the third video in our Max Farm series. In these videos, we'll have a look at different ways you can maximize the areas of your farm using various approaches, and you can decide what's going to work best for you. Today, we're going to be looking at how to maximize this space in your cellar so you can take full advantage of the income that can be earned by aging things like wine and cheese. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We'll be doing plenty more just like it. And welcome to the Mog Dog family. Okay, so for this build, you're going to need the following items, 105 casks and 13 kegs. You're also going to need 105 of whatever you would like to age in the casks. I'm going to be using ancient fruit wine, but you can use any wine, beer, mead, or cheese that you are producing on your farm. Now to optimize your cellar layout, follow this pattern. Beginning in the bottom right corner, start by placing your kegs along this wall. You should be able to fit 9 kegs in this space. The remaining four kegs go along the top wall in this spot. Now after you're done positioning your kegs, you fill the rest of the cellar following this pattern. The reason why I choose 13 kegs is that it's the exact right amount to keep all of the casks busy without overproducing. Casks take a long time to do their thing. It takes 14 days to fully age cheese, 28 days to age beer and mead, and a whopping 56 days to age wine. So here are a few things you're gonna wanna keep in mind about your cellar. Firstly, you can place casks anywhere, but they will only work if they're actually in your cellar. Now secondly, since it takes so long to age products, you're going to get the most benefit from higher value items like ancient fruit wine or goat cheese, for example. You don't need to have the kegs in the cellar. Kegs will work anywhere on your farm, but for me personally, I like to keep everything nice and tidy. Also, if I'm down here filling the kegs regularly, it lets me keep an eye on the progress of the casks. Now that we have everything in place and all loaded up, let's give it some time and see what our maxed out cellar produces. And we're back! Our fully aged casts are a sight to behold. Here comes the fun part. We get to collect up all of these bottles of wine and see how we made out. So in total, we got 105 Iridium quality bottles of ancient fruit wine for a total sale price of $259,875. Now that this seller is all set up, it's going to continue to produce a similar harvest forever. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to smash that like button. It really helps us out. And we'll see you again soon for the next Max Farm video in this series. Bye for now.